Merry Christmas everybody, today is December 25th, unless you're not watching this today, which would make it a different day, so <laughs> that's all good. I hope you're having a fantastic day, my day is going great. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to touch base on the contest that nobody's won yet. I'm going to replay the clip, give everyone the chance to guess again, and I'm also going to give you a hint. So if you're into that, the prizes are either a Green Hydra or a Winter Phoenix. The winner will get to choose. And that will be at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But as for now, I'm going to give you my best tips and tricks that I have for Bubblegum Simulator to help make you a better player. Tip number one, trading. Do not rely on trading to make your pets better than what they are. Just about nobody in the game wants to trade for pets that are worse than what they already have. Okay, so don't rely on it. However, there is one exception to people not wanting to trade. If you level up your pets, your pet stats will increase to the point at which somebody might be willing to trade. So if you're willing to level up your pets, trading may be an option, but if you have low levels, I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, my next tip is about farming and grinding. Um, number one, be willing to go out and get the currency you need to hatch the pets that will make you better. This game is all about hatching and all about grinding, which is kind of weird because it's supposed to be all about bubbles, but it's not. It's very little about bubbles. Um, and when you do farm and grind, try to do it alone. If you're in a server where somebody is already farming or grinding where you want to, find a different server and try to be the only one in the area you want to be in. If you're sharing it with somebody, you're going to get maybe half of what spawns and that'll take you twice as long. So if you're doing it by yourself, chests respawn in every 20 seconds, which is plenty fast enough to get a ton of currency really quick. Uh, next is legendaries. Do not focus on getting legendaries unless you have a lot of extra currency. Legendaries are the best pet, yes, however they are also the most rare. So they are the highest investment. When I was first doing this game, my strategy was is I only equipped epic pets and once I had a full set of epic pets, I would start farming and grinding again just to do the next egg's epic pets. If your pets aren't that great and you focus on the legendaries, there's a good chance you're going to waste more gems than you need. And also with that said, try, to, try not to hatch eggs that are more expensive than the currency you can get is level up your pets. When you level up your pet to max level, it will have double the stats it had at level 1. Which means that you'll be able to farm a lot more faster. And the second perk to that is somebody might trade you for it if you want to trade up. But level up your pets and that kind of goes hand in hand with being willing to actually go out and get the currency you need, whether it be canes or gems. Uh, next we'll go over game passes. Obviously not everyone is in the same boat financially, so some people have Robux. Lots to spend, plenty of it, it's no problem. Some people have very little, some people have none. So we'll just quickly go over the currency, or not the currency, the, uh, the game passes, and I'll give you my opinion on them. And then you can do as you please. So this, this one here, I would not recommend this to anyone. Um, as you progress through the pets, uh, you stop using money. I know you can trade the genie 1 billion for some gems, however I just don't see it being worthwhile for the simple fact that the big chest that you get with good pets gives you way more, so not even a big deal, I would not get that. Infinite bubble size, only get this if you're going to be pushing for the leaderboard. Uh, and you're, if you're not, that's not something you're into, I would not get this. Double gems, this is very useful as the regular zone still has a pet coming. And uh, I would assume it's going to take gems as every other pet in that area does. So this is pretty useful at the moment. VIP used to be useless, but he's made it a little bit better. I guess it shaves off 15% of the wait time for big chests. Like this one here. It'll shave off 15% uh, of the time. So that might be worth it. Mm, kind of hit or miss. Uh, run twice as fast I think is useless. Own plus five pets. Um, if you have the currency, this is good. This will help you farm way, way faster. Being able to equip eight pets is a huge, huge bonus. Plus 100 pet storage space. I haven't needed it. 
it'd be useful to have if you don't have a macro that deletes pets automatically so this could be something for you uh, two times exp again not necessary but very useful uh, increase your jump power and gravity i think that's useless personally two twice as fast again this would only be if you're pushing for leaderboard plus 30 pets obviously i own that a little bit extra never hurts uh, he took this off sale which is awesome because i thought it was useless uh, doubles epic and legendary chances uh yes uh, this is a very good one however it's not the best so if you're limited robux i would maybe hold off on this uh, plus 500 pets i don't have this but it's very tempting in the fact that it gives you a delete all button which will delete all the pets in your inventory with the exception of locked pets and legendaries so pretty good for farming in the 500 inventory space would be unreal Unlocks the ability to open three eggs at a time. Very useful. Highly recommended. This will save you a ton of time. Three times faster, in fact. Instead of hatching one egg, you'll hatch three. So if you're trying to hatch legendaries or epics, that's very useful. Double currency, obviously, it helps you farm better. And then automatically opens eggs for you. The problem with this is that once your backpack is full, it stops. It doesn't remove junk pets or commons, um, they just sit in there. So this will fill your backpack and then it stops and then you have to remove them either by the, the delete all button in the plus 500 inventory or actually going in and selecting all the pets. That. <laughs> so I've heard bad things. I've met one guy who really likes it so it, I guess it just depends on your play style. The other tip I have is when you're in game think to yourself what can you do to make yourself better what's your next step what's your next goal how do you get better it could be anything from needing to farm canes which I have to do soon uh, to hatching eggs to leveling up your pets luckily the leveling up of the pets goes with farming so it's kind of that's a no-brainer if you need currency your pets will level it's easy as that and that's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys so just keep those in mind the biggest one like I said was the trading uh, so many people they just they stand around and they try to trade with other people but they're just wasting a ton of time if they took that time and instead of like talking in chat trying to find someone to give them free pets if they were just to in like go and play the game get the canes get the gems whatever they need and hatch their own pets it would be way faster way more efficient they would get what they need and they continue to move forward so Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you guys have any tips, please leave them in the comments below for people who read through the comments. Uh, and who knows, maybe you have some tips I didn't consider that I would absolutely like to uh, edit the video or make another video with your tips. I'd love to hear what you got. So with all that being said, we're going to jump into the contest portion of this video. As I've stated in the previous video, I started the contest. We're going to play that same clip again where I blank out one word and then you guys have to try and guess what that word is. I didn't see anyone guess the correct answer, so everyone who's already guessed can guess again under this video in the comments. It's the same thing, it's only three guesses per comment and only one guessing comment, okay? So keep that in mind if you have more than one and you guess the correct uh, item, then I'll be forced to actually look for the next person who guessed the correct item if you have more than three guesses. So please keep that in mind, I don't want anyone to kind of cheat themselves out of the prize. So we'll play that clip right now and then I'll give you the one hint. So when I was a kid, one Christmas, I wanted so bad. And as my gift started showing up under the tree, it was very obvious that one of the small boxes was a which I wanted really, really bad. Uh, I was so excited and I couldn't wait for Christmas, so I came up with a plan. And not having opened any presents yet, I went to my mom and I said, Thank you so much for the Dad let me open a present. My mom said you're welcome and smiled. I said to her, now that I know what it is, can I open it? And my mom looked very confused. And at that point, I explained to her that my dad didn't actually let me open any presents and that it was all just a setup um, because I knew what it was and I wanted to open it early. And instead of getting mad, she actually, she smiled and she let me open the present anyways. All right, so the one hit I have for you guys is the item that is beeped out you wear it okay you wear it on your body that's one of the best tips i could give you if nobody guesses it in a couple of days i'll upload another video with another hint and then i'm for sure 100 somebody will get it uh, i have no doubt there so best of luck to everyone 
like I said, down in the comments below, three guesses, one comment, and I hope you win. It's for a green hydra or a dark, or not dark, a winter phoenix. And yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, look for my next live stream giveaway. It should be soon. I want to get into some fun stuff like hide and seek and stuff like that. I just got to figure out the logistics of it because uh, 10 people per bubblegum simulator server is not very much. Um, and yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. I really appreciate you guys. You guys make my YouTube what it is. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and hitting the notifications so you don't miss any pet giveaways. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.